Hi guys. In this video, I want to discuss one very important thing with all of you at this point of time. Actually, recently I had taken a live session on our Facebook group as well as I had launched one video called as mock test versus actual gate performance. In the comment section of both these things, I came across a very specific question that many students were asking me. Even my own classroom students visited me to ask the same problem. That sir, to, uh, at this point of time, we are stuck between 40 to 60 marks. Okay. So what should we do in order to increase our performance in the remaining time? So one thing that I can tell you is, if right now your performance is lying between 40 and 60 marks, that means you are making a lot of conceptual errors as well. Okay. Because silly mistakes you can commit once or twice that you can't commit in each and every test that you will end up at 40 marks, right? Because getting 40 marks only means that you are losing between somewhere between 50 and 60 marks. If you are losing somewhere between 50 and 60 marks due to some question that went unattempted, due to some question that you did mistake in, that means your concepts are still not very strong. So what I will recommend you guys is in the next few days, your major focus should be on revision rather than attempting large number of mock tests. Because even if you attempt a large number of mock tests, that does not guarantee that your concepts will become clear. Secondly, when I am talking about revision, what do I mean by revision? What I mean by revision here is that, does, that does not mean that you start revising your complete notes, start reading the theory, start going through all the formulas. No, not that kind of revision. When I talk about revision, my idea about revision is very specific in that sense. What I say is, suppose you have a subject such as network analysis. In network analysis, if I go into each chapter, then I can easily identify four to five kind of problems that can be framed in each chapter. Overall, I can say around 25 to 30 type of questions can be asked in the entire subject. So when I talk about revising, you need to revise each and every type of question. You need to revise how to crack that particular type of question. And majorly in those subjects where you are performing poorly. If like you are performing not well in communication system, you are from EC, suppose. So in communication system, you will list down all the kind of questions that can be asked within each chapter. And then practice three, four problems of each kind so that you get a good grasp on how to solve such kind of problem if it is asked in gate. So that way you can quickly brush up on all the kind of problems that can be asked. Once you have brushed up on all the kind of concepts or all the kind of problems, what I want you is to make sure that you don't attempt such kind of problem incorrectly. Just as soon as you see the problem, the method must strike in your mind. It must be very clear how to go from step 1 to step 10. That should be very clear, very precise in your mind unless that problem is framed in such a manner that it hasn't been asked in gate before. If such a problem is based on previous year pattern, then the method should be very clear. If it is an entirely new problem, entirely new language, you are not able to understand what it is asking, then it is fine, you can leave that problem. But I say, as long as the problem belongs to that previous year set of paper, it should not be left behind. No matter what kind of question it is, if a similar kind of question has been asked previously, you should be able to attempt that kind of problem. This sort of revision I am talking about. Okay. Secondly, second thing that you have to do is you have to reduce your target of the number of problems that you are going to attempt. That is, don't go after the entire 65 problems. Just go after 50 to 55 problems and so that your time per question can be increased. Let me take an example. Suppose, I have decided that I will attempt somewhere between 50 and 55 questions in the gate examination or in a mock test. So what I will do is, I will try and attempt 20 questions out of 1 mark question, 25 questions from 2 mark technical and then 7 to 8 problems from aptitude. 20 plus 25 plus 7, 8 becomes 52 and 53. So that way I have left around 5 problems in 2 marks, 5 problems in 1 mark, two or three problems in aptitude and for one mark 20 questions out of 25 I am attempting 20 question for those 20 questions I will take around 50 minutes if I take around 50 minutes that means per question I am getting around two and a half minutes and that is more than enough for a question of weightage one mark 
Similarly, for two mark 25 question, I'll take around 100 minutes, 100 minutes for 110 minutes. That way I get more than four minutes per question. Four, four and a half minutes I'm getting per question to solve a two mark problem. Then 110 plus 50, that is 160. Still, I'm left with 20 minutes. In that 20 minutes, I can attempt aptitude. I'm saying this only for those students who are just able to get a score between 40 and 60 marks. They can reduce their target of the number of question and then increase the time per question so that your mistakes are reduced, your silly mistakes are reduced as well as your accuracy gets improved. Because silly mistakes do happen whenever we panic inside the examination hall. Sometimes we spend too much time on a single question. Then whenever we see an easier question, we jump upon that opportunity. We do that haphazardly and in that panic situation, we make a mistake. If you analyze your mistake, you will see that you have made mistakes only in those questions where you were sure, you were very sure about the method. You were very sure that you can find the result. There only you might have committed an error. Only one or two errors will lie outside this range in which you did not have any knowledge. Because if you did not have any knowledge about that kind of problem, what the hell were you trying to attempt that problem? Why you were trying to attempt it if you did not know anything? That is the first mistake that I don't think most of the students are making. Most of the students are committing error in those questions where they know the solution, where they know the method and still they are committing the error. And that is the basic comic situation. You know the solution, you know the method, still your answer is not correct. Why? Because when I know the solution, my mind gets lenient. Okay, I ease up in that problem because I know I'll be able to do it. And once I let my guard down, once I reduce my concentration, instantly there will be a mistake. So what you have to do, as soon as you realize that a problem lies within your range, you can crack that problem, you can do that problem very well. Then increase your focus at that point itself. Remind yourself that this is the problem that can let you down. This is the problem that can reduce your marks. And then attempt that problem very carefully. And that is why I am telling reduce your target so that time per question can increase. If the time per question can increase, then basically you can solve that problem more carefully without making an error. Okay. So that is the best way to reduce your silly mistakes and that is the best way to reduce your conceptual error by taking revision in such a manner. Okay. So some of my classroom students were telling me the same thing that they are getting between 40-60 marks and since I provide them with a crash video course, okay, crash video course is available on our website. I directly told them just, just watch the videos that are given in crash video. You will be able to realize how to solve any kind of problem. So if you don't have an exhaustive list of the problems, you want help in that matter, then you can basically refer to the crash video. Or if you have that list with you, if you know the kind of problems that can be asked, you can do it via self-study using either previous year question or using the questions that are mentioned in study material. That is your choice. But make sure that the revision is entirely question oriented. You are just revising the things that will help you in the gate examination that will help you crack a question. And once you are able to revise all the kind of problems that can be asked, make sure that you attempt a subject test post that. Otherwise, you won't be able to know whatever you have learned, whether it is being applied to the problems or not. If you have learned the method to all the problems correctly, then definitely you will be able to do well in the subject test. If still your preparation is not complete, then you won't be able to do well in the subject test. So every time you revise anything, make sure you end it up with a subject test. That is the proper way of revision. So in the next few days that you have left with you, make sure you follow this technique. If you follow this technique, then it is guaranteed. Your score will at least increase by 10 to 15 marks uh, till the time the gate exam arrives. And that way you will end up at much better marks. And one thing I want to basically tell you all is that just at, apply this strategy. Okay, just apply this thing for next two, three days and then come back to this video. Come back to me, come back to this video and then tell me in the comment section whether this video was helpful for you. Because I really want to know whether my ideas are helping you guys or not. Whether whatever I am telling you based on the problems that you are facing is helping you or not. If you let me know in the comment section and I get even few positive comments, even few people saying that yes, they were able to benefit by this strategy. 
then basically my purpose of making this video is complete my purpose gets uh, successful so that is why i this is a request from my side to all of you if you apply this strategy for next two three days or a week even just come back and comment how this strategy was successful to you and even come back to me with more problems right now whatever you are facing whatever issues you are facing even i am trying to answer all the comments that i am getting all the doubts that i am getting on the group i am trying to answer that so that you get a helping hand in these last few days and you are able to do better in the gate examination so i'll take your leave right now i'll come back with some more important stuff soon thank you